Hello guys, good evening, this is Mike and we're back again to our latest analysis for this Monday until Wednesday, uh, February 27 to March 1, 2023. And this is our English version, brought by Typhoon 2000. And now Carly's Foundation Typhoon per the center. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest uh, graph set for today, Monday. And it looks like it's on time. The Northeast monsoon has uh, arrived and it continues to blow across uh, Luzon. And it's uh, digging down across Visayas. That's why we are experiencing uh, gale force winds of 30 and up to 60 kph. And uh, the coastal waters across Luzon will be moderate to rough and dangerous to small sea crafts. So there are gale warning in effect right now across the various sections of Luzon, particularly those facing the east. And over to the south, in the vicinity of central and eastern Visayas, with some of its cloudiness already affecting uh, the island of Panay, we have the shear line. And these are line of clouds. We were in the uh, cold northeasterly winds and the uh, warm easterly winds collides. So we expect uh, on enough rainfall across these areas. And uh, it's also affecting Masbate. So please take all necessary precautions. And uh, outside of power, we don't have any developing LPA. We just have here a near equatorial trough to the south of uh, Guam near the equator. Nothing to worry about. And uh, those who are asking until when is this uh, blast of the monsoon, since we have a uh, quite strong monsoonal flow right now across the zone and Bicol, and our uh, atmospheric pressure or barometer goes up to 1017. Okay, and uh, gust winds of up to 60 kph in some areas of the Bicol region, including here in Naga, we are recording uh, winds of 60 kph here at my place, around 50 to 55 kph, especially uh, in the morning and uh, early in the afternoon. So uh, there's no storm uh, or no typhoon. This is just the uh, usual northeast monsoon and we are now entering in the final 30 days of this uh, monsoonal flow until uh, uh, the northeast monsoon will say goodbye and uh, so that's the uh, latest right now across the philippine islands mindanao will have good weather but the uh, isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening so the risk of flooding uh, of this monsoon is around low to medium, while over Visayas, under the influence of the shear line, it will become uh, medium to high. It's much higher because there are thunderstorms uh, generated by the shear line across the areas that I've mentioned. Okay, so that's the latest. And uh, until when is this blast of the monsoon? Probably by tomorrow or Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday we could see some improvement of the winds uh, weakening down to the usual northeasterly trade winds or northeasterly wind flow. Now let's take a look at the fast animation. So you can clearly see here the low level and mid level clouds moving uh, from the northeast towards the southwest under the influence of the northeast monsoon and here comes the uh, shear line affecting eastern Visayas, Masbate and also various sections of the Visayas. Here's the uh, zoom in solar animation so you can clearly see here that uh, the rest of the zone including Bicol is uh, along the uh, southern periphery of a high pressure cell centered over the Yellow Sea and uh, barometric pressure of up to 1016-1017 hectopascals has been observed here in Bigel region and here comes the shear line the shear line is somewhere here okay and it's now affecting uh, Visayas so there are uh, on enough rainfall that will be expected across uh, these areas under the influence of the uh, shear line okay while uh, over Mimaropa, there are also some thunderstorms because of the cloudiness from the northeast monsoon and uh, over the Salu archipelago as well. So there you go. 
And let's take a look at the wind forecast for the next three days. By uh, tomorrow afternoon, Tuesday, we could see the uh, weakening of the northeast monsoon across Luzon and the Visayas. But there are still some uh, strong winds over the eastern coastline of uh, Palawan, including the northern portions of uh, uh, Sulu Archipelago. And uh, on the first day of March, we could see the gentle winds from the northeast now occurring across the Philippine Islands after the northeast monsoon relaxes. And on uh, Thursday, uh, uh, March 2, and on Thursday, March 2, we could see another surge of northeast monsoon uh, moving down across uh, the Batanes, okay, Batanes group. And on Friday, March 3, that uh, monsoon will uh, quickly die down, okay? So it's just a short um, blast of monsoon over the uh, extreme northern parts of the zone. And on Friday, March 3, uh, the usual normal uh, northeasterly wind flow will be expected. Now let's take a look at the rain forecast for the next three days. And we'll be extending it until Friday, March 3. So you can clearly see here the effects of the uh, shear line. Tuesday afternoon, the shear line will start to dissipate. And only uh, low level uh, cloudiness from the northeast monsoon will be expected across the Visayas and Bicol region. It's, uh, will, it will continue to be uh, windy with winds of 30 to 60 kph. And on the first day of March, that will be on Wednesday, we could see uh, some showers expecting over the uh, eastern sections of the sun, including Bicol region and eastern Visayas because of the weak northeasterly wind flow, no longer the monsoon. And uh, there are thunderstorms that is uh, bound to form uh, by Wednesday afternoon. Now, Thursday afternoon, March 2, Mindanao will be affected by uh, possible thunderstorms of a uh, possible local thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon, uh, due to a uh, diffused shear line. Okay, the shear line is likely to be affecting. Uh, is likely to affect uh, Mindanao. And on Friday, March 3, uh, improving weather will be expected in all parts of the country, except for the eastern sections of Luzon, including Bicol, where in the northeasterly surface wind flow will continue to prevail. Okay, so if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation today, Monday until uh, Wednesday or Thursday, the bulk of the rainfall are concentrated across the eastern sections of the Visayas, and also portions of western and central Visayas and eastern Mindanao because of the shear line which is expected to move downwards. And uh, it, it's likely to be over Mindanao within the next uh, uh, 48 hours. So there you go. That's the latest for this Monday, Monday evening, and we'll return in the next couple of days. From Time from 2000, this is Mike Padawa saying good night. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.